Hello everyone, welcome to Pennacool.com's Language Lab. My name is Captain S123 and today we're going to learn about the rules of singular possessive nouns and how to use the apostrophe. Let's get started. Singular possessive nouns show ownership or possession. They tell us that something belongs to someone or something. For example, if we have the singular noun boy and we want to show that the ball belongs to the boy, we use a singular possessive noun. We add an apostrophe and an S after the noun like this, boys. Some other examples of singular nouns to possessive nouns are girl to girls, father to fathers, dog to dogs. Next, sometimes we come across singular nouns that already end in S. But don't worry, we can still show possession with these nouns by using the apostrophe. If the noun already ends in S, just add an apostrophe after this. For names ending in S, the same rule applies. Let's look at an example. If we want to say that this new car belongs to the boss, we can say, this is the boss's new car. All we do is add an apostrophe as the word boss already ends in S. If we have the proper noun James and we want to show that something belongs to James, we use a singular possessive noun. James's bag is on the floor. This sentence is saying that the bag that belongs to James is on the floor. James's bag. From the following example, let's see if we can figure out the correct answer together. My blank t-shirt was found in the dryer. Is it A. Brothers S apostrophe B. Brothers apostrophe S or C. Brothers with no apostrophe The correct answer will be brother with the apostrophe S. We are talking about a t-shirt belonging to one brother. Well done! For our last example, we have to rewrite the following phrases in the form of singular possessive nouns. Number 1. The bone belonging to the dog. This can be changed to the dog's bone. Number 2. The purse belonging to my mother. This can be changed to my mother's purse. Well done, my amazing learners! You've learned the rules of singular possessive nouns and how to use the apostrophe. Remember, when a noun is singular and we want to show ownership, we add an apostrophe and an S. And when a noun is singular and already ends in S and we want to show possession, we add an apostrophe after the S. Keep practicing and soon you'll be using the singular possessive noun with ease. Thank you for visiting the Language Lab today. Try the exercises on penacool.com to earn points and win great prizes.